In this Pro Bike Check, we're going to take a look at the two-time downhill world champion Fabian Burrell's enduro bike. This is his Canyon Strive. So the Strive is Canyon's enduro race bike. It's 160 mil travel, carbon frame. We've actually got the RockShox Lyric up front running 180 mil travel. So pretty big suspension fork on the front. We've got that Monarch Plus air shock on the rear. And obviously we see that shape shifter system in this Canyon's Drive. It's what they're famous for. And that changes the geometry of the bike with that remote up on the bar. So you can go from having it low and slack, great for the downhills, and then put it into the climbing setting, which actually reduces the travel lets the seat angle go back up a bit more vertical and keeps you in that very nice climbing position. So let's take a look at the bars on Fabian's bike. We've got these Renthal fat bars, aluminium bar. Interesting to note they're in the 31.8, not that oversized 35 mil. And they are 30 millimeters rise and 780 mil wide. We've got the Renthal apex stems in 50 mil length. Interesting to note that Fabian's got a couple of spaces above that stem, so he's got the ability to move that bar height quite a lot. It's actually quite a high bar anyway. It's Ergon GA2 grips in that sort of fluoro orange and the SRAM guide ultimate brakes. Some big brakes in this bike. We've got a 200mm rotor on the front and a 188 back, so super fast stopping bike. A couple of little custom touches. We've got this sort of uh, sandpaper grip tape on the brake levers, on the shifter, which is SRAM X01, obviously 1x12 on this bike. We've also got that reverb dropper remote under there and that remote that runs the shape shifter. So we've got Mavic D-Max Pro wheels on this bike with those Mavic sort of signature spokes, really thick. It's actually a 24-spoke wheel. You can see there, that's the EWS sticker. So all the racers here have to put these stickers on the rims, the frame, the fork, and they have to run these for the whole race. And if something gets damaged and that has to be replaced, that means obviously the sticker won't be on that new rim and they get a time penalty for that. So the riders really have to think about that when they're racing. Got this Mavic tire on the back, it's called the Charge. It says prototype on it. You can see it's got this yellow sort of bead that runs round, just that marking that shows you it's got a special carcass and that soft compound on it. It's got a full SRAM drivetrain on this bike, it's the Eagle X01. We've got that carbon crank up front, an E13 chain device to make sure that chain doesn't pop off in the race. That big mech with that 14 tooth jockey wheel at the bottom and obviously the main part really, the most important part of an Eagle drivetrain arguably is this big set, 12 speed, 50 tooth right down to the 10. We've got some Crank Brothers Mallet DH pedals on this bike. Interestingly, he's gone for the bigger downhill pedals, not their enduro pedals. They do have a lot of adjustment. You can see he's got four of these pins on the front and the back. They're actually wound quite a long way out so Fabian can actually feel that pedal obviously then through his shoe. A couple of nice pro touches on this bike. On his top tube, we've got his name, Fabian Rell, number 54, and his stage times for the day. So we can keep an eye on his liaisons, and where he's got to be and when he's got to be there. We've got his name down here, Fabian Burrell, and you've got those rainbow stripes you get for being a world champion. You have to earn those things. We've got a RockShox Reverb dropper seat post. That's 150 mil drop. We've got this Ergon SME3S saddle with those carbon rails. See, they're quite deep. We've got some nice touches from the mechanics up by the bars. You can see this shrink wrap to go around the cables to make sure it's nice and neat. Little zip tie there, a bit of Velcro. We've also got a power link just electrically taped to that hose. So if Fabian snaps his chain, he can just get that off really quick, fix his chain, and be back on the track as soon as possible. All right, I found the man himself, here's Fabian Burrell. We've been checking your bike out. Yeah. Um, I think it's fair to say you're one of the most technically aware riders. You've helped develop and design bikes with people you ride for in the past. True. Does that mean that you're really fussy with your setup? Like your bike has to feel perfect every time? Yeah, I, I have to say that I'm pretty picky with my settings, like, you know, like brake lever positions, angles, my suspensions. The general balance I have on the bike is, is pretty important. And uh, every time I take the bike and go ride out, I, I have my basic setup that I, I like to keep, yeah, for sure. And obviously, Enduro's a bit different to downhill, where yeah. you've got to keep the same frame, the fork, the wheels. Yeah. So do you ride and think about trying to preserve those things when you're racing, or is it always 100% speed? I would say that normally you try to adapt the product to make sure that whatever you choose to ride is reliable so you can push 100%. But that's true that sometimes, for example, this weekend it's very physical so a lot of people make the choice to have light tires and you know that when you get in rocky section you have to be cautious. So there, there is definitely a lot of things out there that you have to make in the choice. When in downhill you're not, you're not making any compromises, you'll be pushing. So that's where you see the, the general um, 
uh, variation in the approach that could be between downhill and enduro. And often as well, if, if you run into problems in an enduro race, it's up to yeah. you to fix them. Do you feel like you're a, a good mechanic? Well, I, I wouldn't say I'm a good mechanic, but I'm good enough to repair my bike and, uh, and bring my things with me that when I'm, when I'm out. So it's also a matter of weight of whatever you carry on you. But uh, like when you have big days like today, you make sure that you have everything to actually repair the tires, help the transmission and uh, be able to support on, on all those things. And, um, and yeah, that's uh, something you have to know how to do. Um, we've got the shape shifter on this bike. Yep. So obviously you've got your dropper seat post and the shape shifter under on the left hand side. Yep. Would you ever use that shape shifter actually in the middle of a stage or do you save it for the liaison oh yeah oh, no 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 i use the shape shifter all the time in the stage i mean the you, you talk about downhill and enduro and uh, when i approach enduro one of the big frustration for me was to not be able to find the right setting for downhill versus the uphill stuff and i was always in the compromise which i really didn't like and uh, that's why we developed this system to actually be able to have a real downhill position when he when he was like very technical and high speed stuff versus the uphill mode and uh, and yeah this is something i use i would say that if i shift 10 times i will use my dropper post seven and i will use the shape shifter maybe four times yeah. so yeah I, it's pretty efficient and quick and it's definitely something i use a lot yeah so thanks to fabian for his time and letting me get my mucky fingers all over his bike and take a good look at it if you haven't done already click on the gmbn globe just here to subscribe to the channel Click over here for a pro bike check with Joe Barnes on his Canyon Spectral and over here for another video from the Enduro World Series. Give us a thumbs up if you like Fabian Brow's bike.